Yes, I think the big difference is what regularly happens to Congresswoman Waters because her words are so powerful and for whatever reason, the Republicans and apparently some Democrats are threatened by her power and her courage. Mm -hmm. It's her words are not only taken out of context, she's also misquoted. There was nothing in her statement about hounding people. There was nothing, the thing she did say about harassment, and I have it written down, they're going to harass them. She's talking about what people will do. She also said... Mm -hmm. Create a crowd and push back on them. That is what she's always right. been about. At the gas station well, or the mean, department then? store. I'm, she I mentioned mean, those mean. places. I'm, I mean, Angela, she's been called out by Jackie Spear and Chuck Schumer, other Democrats. And now tonight, and I, don't, I don't know if you heard the breaking news, but she's going to be the first ever press secretary to get full-time Secret Service protection. I heard it. Um, so, Sarah Sanders is going to be. I mean, isn't that, does that bother you that we're in this place? Do you what feel bother, any responsibility what bothers for that as a Democrat? Me, what bothers me, Aaron, is that people regularly take her comments out of context. She has clarified this. She's been abundantly clear about what she's calling for. She is asking for Trump administration officials to be held accountable for what they're doing. This isn't about some simple policy or political difference, Aaron. This is about people who are separating families, more than 2,300 children at this point, with no plan to reunite them. This is about policies like the Muslim ban that was just upheld okay. at the Supreme Court today. The Steve, way, I'm not done. I did not the, interrupt the, you. Let me finish. The, My point, I'm not done. My point is very simple. I demand that people stop requiring Congresswoman Waters to behave in one way while everybody else can do something else. Nancy Pelosi says, "Make let's make America beautiful again. Whose America is she talking about? Steve, at the beginning of this program, said, this isn't America. This isn't what, what America are you talking about? Childish Gambino artfully told you what America is and what it looks like. Let's deal with the distinctions that we all see because some of us see a very different America. The fact that Chuck Schumer way, called what a black woman said un-American is problematic, and this is the reason why Democrats have a hard time reuniting the base. Can you not say that just because the of the color of her skin? It has everything What's... to do with the fact that this black woman is intimidating to some people who can't handle the truth. That's what it has. It has everything it to do with that. It has nothing to do. It has so what nothing are you saying? You wouldn't have said it to a white person? Watch what you wish way... for, Max. He, Donald Trump responded to that. The, the, Come on, Aaron. There's there's time and time again we can look at Donald Trump's tweets. He's intimidated by Jamel Hill. He's intimidated by Frederica Wilson. He's intimidated by Maxine Waters. Overwhelmingly and disproportionately so, it has everything to do with race. And, and, and that is why well, I this. find Chuck as, Schumer's as, as, as comments as deplorable and offensive. It's un-American why. Okay. It's un-American why. Because what as, America as are you talking about? This is America of lynch mobs, too. Like, let's be very clear. And as, she didn't call for right. violence. Donald Trump did. Steve,